The Vietnamese government delegation was headed by the Deputy Minister for Agriculture and Rural Development, Vu Van Tam. While in the country, the delegation requested to speak with the remaining Vietnamese illegal fishermen who are currently serving time at Bomana prison. There was not a prior arrangement, but there was a request that uh, they, they wanted to meet up with uh, the prisoners up at, uh, uh, at Bomana. But uh, what we mentioned to them is that that's not really under our jurisdiction and we need to contact the relevant uh, agencies to be able to arrange that. And I think they agreed to agreed to just send two of those uh, prisoners down to just talk to the, the delegation here. So that's why they were here. Of the 50 illegal fishermen that were sentenced to prison in March this year, seven remain at Bomana prison. Managing Director of the National Fisheries Authority, John Kasu, said the bilateral today will pave the way for more closer partnership between PNG and Vietnam. A top priority for both countries is illegal fishing. There are actually three things that we are looking at uh, discussion. One is the MOU, one is the communique which will be signed uh, between the head of state or the minister and uh, the minister uh, representing uh, Vietnam. And then the memorandum of understanding, which is uh, the one that we're finalizing, I think that's the one that we will be probably signing tomorrow. And then we have uh, what they're referring to as a hotline, and this is to address the issues of uh, IUU fishing. Uh, so I think with the discussions we are having now, the, probably the outcome that uh, for tomorrow is that we will just sign the memorandum of understanding. Uh, the one with the communique, I think they will take it back and have some further work done on it. And I think that will be signed maybe in the margins of APEC meeting uh, towards the end of the year. Missing from the discussions today were Foreign Affairs Minister Rimbing Pato and Fisheries Minister Mao Zeming. When you talk about illegal fish, fishing, and I keep saying this, that it's not only NFA's uh, responsibility, it's uh, it needs to be looked at collectively. So we need to approach this issue of illegal fishing uh, on a whole of government approach. So uh, a number of agencies we need to work with. And I think we're working, we have MOUs with defense, police, and relevant uh, agencies that we need to work. And I think that's something that we need to strengthen uh, to be able to address this uh, challenge before us. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.